Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Yeah, fuck you. You didn't know that Jack Bowers on my side, did you? Yes, this is Call of Duty World at War. Um, they set across the Pacific and the Eastern Front campaign. So there are levels where you play as the Americans and you fight, you know, against the Japanese, and there are levels when you play as the Russians and you fight against the Germans. Now that there is uh, Keith uh, Sutherland, and when you fight against Germans as Russians, Gary Oldman is the main bloke. This is my favourite Call of Duty game. Uh, World War Two wise, it's it's the fifth entry into the series. I haven't played this for ages. It's amazing what you want to play when you get your. I didn't get a rifle. Shit, you get your hand out of plaster and you can actually play games again with the motion controls. Because I absolutely freaking love this game. Although the controls are a little clunky, the, the the aiming is tight. It's just I don't know. They kind of refined it more. In um, Reload, really, can I shake the nunchuck? Yes. We find it more in Call of Duty 4, but what's important about this game released in 2008 by Activision and developed by Treyarch is, if it wasn't for this, it never would have. We, we sorry, we never would have got Call of Duty 4 because I was super excited when this came out. Call of Duty 3 shit on the Wii, you know, and this is the same campaign as the 360, and there's nothing in it, and the uh, the PlayStation 3. Whereas uh, there's a PlayStation 2 version that's developed by someone else, and that is not. But this is apparently, based on the magazines I read at the time, a low-res uh, game engine. Um, uh, sorry, a low-res version of the game engine that was used, you know, using the other version. So I was psyched. I remember reading about this because it was like we're going to get an adult first-person shooter, you know, cool beans and stuff. Plays really tight. It's just your selection, your grenade throwing, and your stabbing is a little bit different. But there's some of the levels in this are just so much fun. The, the, the voice acting is superb. Many thanks to you know Kiefer Sutherland um, and Gary Oldman. The story is compelling and interesting, and it's just it's just a lot of fun. It, oh, die, wank! Of course you can see him. He's fucking two foot in front of your face. Should have gone to spec savers, mate. But yeah, I just this was a highlight for me. You know, it, well I, I had a wee for like I don't know. That sounds terrible when you say that. I don't know. Uh, Wait, that's grenade? Yeah, plus his grenade. Cook it. Cooking lessons with Dave again. Um, for, I don't know, a year at this point. And I liked it. I loved it. I've always endorsed it, you know, and, and, and talked highly about it. I've got no scooby where I'm going. Spray wildly when you don't know what you're doing. It's like pissing into the wind. But yeah, I was super excited when this came along. And it's brilliant. It is. It's, it is at all. Is he on my side? I don't know. I get confused. And I think it's really good graphics. But then that's just me. I love the Call of Duty games. Apart from 3, I mean, that's playable, but I love the Call of Duty games. Reload on the Wii, and that's why you're going to see some more of these gameplays, just because I'm having fun. Oh, thanks for grenading them now. I thought it was on my own. I thought it was like a fucking cooking lesson, a lesson by Jamie Oliver. Gordon Ramsay has his mates. Right, hang on. Anyone in there? Oh, shit. Shit, hang on. Bollocks, what's um stabby stabby motion? I don't know what stabby yeah, I could be a fucking marine. What's stabby No, that's not it. Oh, this is the awkward bit, you gotta press No that's select. That's dark. What the fuck? Oh, I don't know, I'll worry about that when I need to worry about that. Who's fucking still you know, I thought I marinated you and I was cooking you enough. Who's fucking shooting at me? Even doubt, follow the trace. That's my new game plan. Oh, you shot him finally. At least you, you know, you, you, your um, assistants actually do something in this game, as opposed to just walk around the eye candy and get shot in the face and leave you to plug all the gaps. Oh, you're on my side. Oh, don't use your potty mouth. I forgot to tell people this is X-rated. Right? Do I need to go in here? No. This is the first level, mainly because shit. Uh, no, not shit. Oh, yeah, that's right, you can shoot for the damn wood. You nick that from aliens. Shoot for the damn walls. Right, there we go. Oh, it's a murder hole. 
yeah, some of the levels in this are absolutely fantastic. There are driving levels and stuff like that. There's some really, really memorable things. And it is as the PlayStation 3 version was and the 360 version, I said. But you get absolutely amazing first person controls. And as you know, I. Oh, bollocks. I fucking love motion controls. Hang on, whose gun is that? I saw a gun. That works. No. I can't, I've got press minus. Again, that's what I mean about the controls being a little bit clunky. There we go. That reload. Oh, he left it reloaded. That was nice. Right, leg it. That's a... Right, go around the outside. I remember that. Alright. Is there a window? Oh, bollocks, there isn't. Oh, you can have that anyway. I didn't even do anything. Oh, crap. Where did you come from? Oh... Since you are Bauer, right, I think you should just leg it in the front and do everything, because that's what Bauer does. Hang on, let's... Yeah, let's try old school. Right. Sorry, I got lost. <laughs> wow. Right, can I tell you whether it's a rifle, after all? I would prefer it if you didn't get in my way, people. That I don't like. I mean, it's a rifle. I should be able to take him out from here. Like it. Cooking time, people. Let's cook up another one. Again? Oh, look at that. Three-pointer, people. Right, where's that? Oh, you're on my side. Oh, shit, reload. Oh, I'm doing it with a button. I prefer it with the nunchuck, though. It's kind of nice. Right, where are you, you sneaky little bastard? You come out somewhere. You're in there, aren't you? Hang on. I need a decent gun. This gun's shit. Oh, you're on my side. All right, hang on. Are you even going? Right, give me a gun. Oh, that'll do it. I don't even know. That's a nice effect, by the way. Wait till you get the flamethrower. That's amazing. And there's a level when they come out like camouflage murder hole traps in the floor, and that is absolutely fantastic. It's wonderfully atmospheric. I cannot talk highly enough about this game. I've been itching to play this uh, and, and complete it again. And it's a decent length campaign. Where am I going? Oh, up here. It's a decent length campaign, and as I said, the story is amazing. What's run? Man, I am rusty at this. Is your gun better than mine? Yes, I believe so. Oh, look at that. Sexy biscuits. Are right, oh, we crouched? Are we crouched? Yeah. Come on, that's kind of nice looking graphics. Look at it. Oh, the light's changing, but yeah. What the hell is this? Check it out. Looks like a temple or some shit. Who fucking cares? Oh, and they jump out of the wildlife like no one's business. It generally has some shit your pants moments. Ooh. Yep. I guess we're not obeying Geneva right now. Reload. Oh, there he is, Ron. Oh, it wouldn't let me run because it was delivering story and shit. Anyway, yeah, this is just right at the start of the first level. It's just, I had no other save and I just wanted to show it to you. And it, but seriously, it's super cheap on 360. It's super cheap on the PlayStation 3 and it's super cheap on the Wii, which is the best version because of the amazing controls. And I really do recommend it. It's the last decent World War II game. Will we get another World War II game in Call of Duty? I really hope so, but I sincerely doubt it. So, hey, well, am I am I pistoling? I'm pistoling. Come on. In fact, if anyone's listening to this out there in Call of Duty Land who has any pull, I want a new World War II game. Modern weapons are cool and everything, but the bottom line is there's something about having to do it the old school way, like our, you know, the people who we owe our you know, freedom of speech to. Anyway, I'm going to call it quits there. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.